Hello all, and welcome to this, um, since, uh, this will be my triumphant return, I guess. Um, but this will be a video, since if you've watched me before, you know I'm a big fan of the Ramones, and they're my favorite punk band, uh, still to this day. Um, I don't think any other band is going to top them. Um, so, basically, where most people my age... I'm 30, by the way, um, just have moved on, you know, they've picked their niche of music tastes from their, you know, teenage years slash early adulthood, and they've clung to that and just sort of stuck with that core of stuff and maybe expanded slightly. I've, you know, I don't have that kind of life. I basically have delved, gotten so bored with things just in my life that I've sort of delved into these weird obscure albums so basically let's get started shall we I'm gonna to present to you this really weird uh, you know obscure I guess it is it is it's a weird release but it's one of the more obscure things that like a lot of Ramones fans just sort of either just sort of ugh, they cringe over it or they just don't know about it some of the newer ones or that it's just way too, you know, you know, out there for them, you know. They think of it. Okay, anyways, that's just a bunch of crap I'm rambling. Let's just present it all, shall we? Um, Dee Dee Ramones, or Dee Dee King, um, standing in the spotlight. In this crazy special long box here. Straight from, like, 1989, 19, early 90s, 89. Um... I bought this actually brand new sealed, um, you know, new old stock, just you know a couple months ago. Mostly because I'm a huge Ramones fan, and also because I like some of the songs in here, like unironically. Um, you know, there's like a few good songs on here that I think are great. You know, mostly Emergency. You know, if you if you're a Ramones fan, I recommend you listen to that one. Um, there's, you know, obviously other good, the, the, uh, other good songs in here, like The Crusher, you know, the original version, not the one from Adios Amigos, which I think Dee Dee is, you know, I like Dee Dee better as a singer, obviously, than CJ. You know, obviously, the disc is here, his CD. Um, I don't know if they'll remaster this, but it doesn't matter if they do, because it's like, at this point, a remastered CD, or they have a vinyl it's kind of, I guess it's a remastered vinyl, but I'm just, I have a hard time buying vinyl as like, it's hard to store for someone like me anymore. Like, I have a lot of strange vinyls, obviously, I do the strange vinyl finds, or I did the strange vinyl finds, I might do some more of those, but I find it kind of a waste to just buy vinyl a lot of the time, so I just stick with CDs. Um, because you can rip them to your computer, and you can have a huge playlist, basically. And, you know, I'd rather fork my money over for something cool like this, something crazy collectible like this, than some, you know, digital files on Amazon or something. But anyways, um, this is a cool release, I think. Um, if you're a Ramones fan, I would check this out, definitely. Um... You can find a long box. It's a cool collector's item, you know. Get a lot of like, you know, it's just a big. It's big and it's it has nice artwork. Um, just yeah. I mean, I wish we would have got more from Dee Dee before he died, you know, instead of this like his obscure stuff that he released. Um, but then again, I don't need to hear new DD material now that he's been dead for like 15 years because I'm sick of that revival crap you know just sort of taking the fun out of all the cool stuff from the 90s and 80s um if they have unreleased demos of his yeah I mean unless they're full and complete I wouldn't release them you know just let things go or if you're going to release them, at least like a DD box set or something, you know, just, it's, 
I don't know. I just I'm thinking of that Joey Ramone, you know, album, and it just kind of felt like it kind of felt like a corpse being painted at a funeral. You know, you just it's not alive. You know, it's not alive. They tried to make it look alive, and it just I don't know. I guess I'm rambling about nothing now, but you know the Dee Dee King thing. You know, I can obviously see Dee Dee, you know, kind of dressed up as a rapper or some sort of like like old school rapper here. I think this is a good album. You know. I, a lot of people rag on this for being goofy, but why would you rag on it for being goofy? I mean, if you've seen any interviews of Dee Dee, you know he's kind of a goofball and kind of a screwy, kind of like that guy that hangs out at the dumpster and, you know, the whole homeless guy that can do a funny trick, you know, he's kind of like that guy, you know, and says weird things. Uh, like, I, that's, that's what I think Dee Dee is. He's just a goofy guy. Um, when you watch Ramon's interviews and, you know, read their bios, I mean, he said, I'd like a, he said at the, his Rock Hall speech, I'd like to congratulate myself and give myself a pat on the back with, you know, kind of a tongue-in-cheek smile, and it was kind of a, it was funny, you know, he didn't care, um, yeah, of course he didn't care, that was the first song that he, like, really, you know, blended his vocals to, well, 53rd and 3rd on the first album, but anyways, I just think of the I Don't Care song from Rocket to Russia. Anyways, Dee Dee King standing in the spotlight. Um, I like this long box a lot. You know, it's just, it's, it's fun. It's a good collector's item, and I know you probably can't find it, really, unless you, you know, get lucky on Amazon or eBay or Discogs or something. But, uh, yeah, that's about all. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to try to be doing these videos a little more regularly. Um, now, um, I have a bunch of other weird, obscure, strange, little-known items lying around that I can talk about. Now, I can also talk about other things, possibly, too, if you want to hear my opinion on that, like... I don't really feel like getting into the whole politics thing because I feel like that's kind of heavily divisive and I guess I could one day but for the time being I'm just gonna let it be about you know music and movies and video games and you know just strange things that have happened maybe like a vlog or something weird that happened in my day or something fun some more performance art stuff you know I'm I'm not a super super serious guy when it comes to this um, I'm still having some I have to still get used to talking again because I haven't done this in like a year a little over a year now I haven't really made like a nice vlog or some sort of review so let's cap this with how we started it DD King standing in the spotlight long box get it if you're a Ramones fan download it vinyl it just you know I recommend getting it if you're a Ramones fan it's probably one of the rarest and most unique releases of the whole Ramones family out there. Um, that's why I like Dee Dee a lot, because he was just kind of this guy who's, you know, doing his own thing. Um, unlike, I guess, unlike Richie and CJ today, who are just kind of like doing sort of a Ramones-ish sound, kind of like a pop-punk thing. They're okay releases, not great. Like I said, I'm not. I don't dig a lot of newer, like punk rock these days. I don't know why. It just doesn't. Maybe I'm getting old. It just doesn't strike me the same way as it used to. Like, even in like 2008, you know. Anyways, peace.